Just want to take a quick minute to give a quick review in regards to the Jose Camo. Um, it's going to be quick, hopefully. So as you guys can see, I have a puppy of his. Um, his name's Thor. He's part of the Maya and Quiz litter. Um, the, how I came across Jose was Instagram. Um, I saw his Instagram post. I saw that he had, um, he was breeding. And I had been looking for a dormant puppy. And to be exact, I was looking for a European dormant puppy. Prior to coming across Jose, I actually came um, to two scams. Um, luckily, I didn't pay up or anything. So um, I just want to make a video. So if you guys are looking for a puppy and you want to know whether or not he's legitimate, I just want to be a testimony for you guys to hopefully help you and get on board with getting a beautiful puppy. So um, a little bit of my scams. So I, I was, you know, like any other person looking for a puppy, I was searching online, searching for various breeders um i came across a couple they seem legitimate they had websites that made it look legitimate and you know i went through the process of contacting them so they would get um my information and they would ask me for you know um lump sums of money um to like make it as a deposit right so once um they would ask me for it would off the bat first thing they would say was like okay perfect we got you want a puppy um you know this is how much it's going to be for your puppy. And they wanted a big deposit. Um, long story short, I got myself out of those um, scams myself. And you guys are asking, like, how is this relevant to Jose? Well, um, basically, I had a bad taste in my mouth for breeders. So I was like, everyone's just scamming now. I don't want a puppy. I don't feel secure. I don't feel confident. I don't trust nobody to, you know, give my money to them, let alone a deposit. So um, long story short... Let me put him down. All right, guys, sorry. I had to put my puppy down. He was not trying to be in this video. Uh, but I was saying, um, so basically, I had a bad taste in my mouth. When I reached out to Jose, I let him know. Um, I asked him, sorry. I asked him if he had any puppies because I saw that he was breeding. Um, I went through his Instagrams. I saw a couple puppies that he had delivered. I saw, um, you know, that those puppies' owners had Instagrams. So I basically did my little, um, my homework, you know, this time around, I was just like, you know, I'm going to be very careful about who I reach out to because everyone else was also looking legitimate, but turned out not to be. Um, and basically I reached out to Jose. I asked him, Hey, you know, I'm looking for a puppy. Do you have puppies available? And off the back, he told me, I don't have puppies available right now. Um, you know, I actually have a waiting list, um, for clients that are interested in getting a puppy and he asked me whether or not I would be potentially um, willing to wait on a waiting list. And then right off the back, he sent me more information. He actually sent me a video um, explaining how the whole process would be with him from, you know, the beginning to you up to the point of you getting your puppy and how the wait list would work. Um, so, you know, I agreed to it. He sent me the video. I watched the video. And mind you, um, once he sent me the video, he didn't, um, he didn't ask for no deposit. He didn't um, tell me that, you know, your puppies would be this much. He said, basically, watch this video. Uh, go ahead and see it. If you like it, go ahead and let me know. And we can proceed from that point on. So I did. I watched the video. Basically, the video let me know how he works, how his kennel works, what he offers, what he looks for. Um, basically, tell me that he looks for the best quality of, you know, of the breed, of the line. So off the back, it already was different from prior situations where they were just like, okay, cool. This is, you know, again, how much we want you to pay for your deposit. Um, so I watched the video. Everything went fine. I liked, you know, what I was seeing, what I was hearing. Um, I also liked the fact that Jose let us pick, you know, um, once the puppies were a little bigger so we can kind of see their characters. Um, so, you know, the deal was done. Jose communicated to me, okay, um, if you're interested, again, I have a waiting list. Um, and he explained to me how his waiting list works, you know, from his prior clients that were already on the waiting list and he would work his way down. Um, he sent me a contract right away, letting me know this is, you know, a contract that, um, you're going to be signing. So, um, you know, and this is how much your deposit is. His deposit was, let me say off the bat, way smaller than any other, you know, so-called breeders were asking me for. Um, so already off the bat, that kind of was like, you know, um, after talking to him a little, I did communicate to him that, you know, what had happened to me. I was like, to be honest, I'm kind of sketched out. I'm kind of hesitant about this deposit. 
And right away, I didn't have to ask for it. I didn't have to kind of hint it. He offered to jump on the phone with me and provide more clarity um, and that I could talk to him. And, you know, you guys could say like, oh, okay, well, you know, anyone can pick up the phone and make a call, you know, and say they're a breeder and make you feel comfortable. Um, but happened enough, I don't know if he felt it or what it was, um, but he even offered, he's like, I was going to LA, I'm from San Diego. Um, I was going to LA um, a week or two after our conversation and he even offered to meet up with me so I can, you know, meet a dog and see that he had um, one of the females with him. And at the time, I believe it was Tina um, he brought just to make me more comfortable. So I was in LA with my mom. And then so we arranged it. We met at a park. Uh, of course, um, since it was during COVID, we were all wearing our face masks. And it was all done safely. Um, we, we, we met up. We had, he brought his dog, his beautiful dog, by the way. Um, and he basically just told us, and you know, that was a little more comforting knowing that, you know, I got to see the person that I spoke to. I got to see the person I was on the phone with and I actually got to exchange information. So that made me feel a little more secure in my journey of becoming a puppy owner. Right. Um, so a little fast forward, um, you know, now I'm on the list, uh, for a puppy. Cause I, after that conversation, us meeting, I decided, okay, I do want to go with the process. He was very honest about the process. He didn't tell me you're going to get a puppy tomorrow. Um, it's going to be ready. He told me, look, um, this is how it works. I will try my best to get it to you, you know, in a periodic time, in a timely manner, if we're being honest, in, in the dog breeding world. Um, and, you know, and so I said, okay, I agreed to that. And it's always important to know, guys, that when you're working with a breeder, there's a lot going on from him taking care of puppies to him having to take care of other clients. So it's always important to know that when you're on a waiting list, um, you have to have patience. I know we're all anxious to have a puppy. I was on the wait list of August of last year and I got my puppy in December of last year. Um, I'm sorry, no, I didn't get my puppy in December of last year. I got my puppy February 7th. He was born in December of last year, I'm sorry. So I got my puppy February 7th of 2021. He was born on December 7th of 2020. Um, so yeah, so, but during the time that I was on a wait list, um, uh, Jose added us to a group, it's called Telegram. Um, you know, he would update us from, you know, if, you know, what was the plans with the breeding, if he, when he confirmed pregnancies, when the litters were born, um, updates on puppies. Um, and, and mind you, I'm already on the waiting list and I'm already getting updates and I've only paid up to this point a deposit. I haven't paid anything else. Um, he doesn't tell you, hey, pay me, you know, half of this now and then you can, you know, he he said, you know, just give him the deposit. I gave him the deposit. That was it. Um, like I said, now I'm on the wait list. So now I have updates coming to me um, and, you, and you get updates whether you're up next in the list or not. You're still part of the group and you're still getting updates. And you're still being informed of what's going on. You're just not left on the back burner. And then, you know, months come and you're like, oh, by the way, here's your puppy. You're good to go. So you get to see multiple litters being born. Yes, it's going to be a little tedious because you'll get excited when you see other litters being born. And you want, you know, you just want your puppy. Um, but good things happen to those who wait. Um, and all throughout the process, um, Jose is very, like, you know, very good at updating. Like I said, gives you updates, gives you reminders, what also, what you might need for your puppies. Um, and if you have like side questions, he's always willing to answer them. He's always very open about reaching out to him and, you know, any questions, concerns you might have, um, you know, and it's very like very family environment. Like you can reach out to him. He doesn't make you feel like dumb for any question you have. I myself was one of those people that I would ask questions because one, I had never owned a Doberman. Um, and two, I have not had a puppy in years, so I was just kind of all over the place. But anytime that he would send an update video in regards to what we're looking at, um, we're in the list we're looking at, um, he would always tell us, hey, um, you know, updates, like how we're, we're going to be moving forward. And as the list got clear, you know, I moved up and basically it was a smooth process. Long story short, I guess what I'm trying to say it was all smooth. I have no complaints. Um, you know, everything was dealt very professionally. Um, I was not instigated or I was not peer pressured um, to keep giving money. Um, 
like I said, I've only gave a deposit until I got my puppy. I paid for the rest of my puppy. Um, you know, communication is available at any time. Whenever you have questions, I, I know I'd be texting him at crazy times at night. Um, I'm not saying text him at late night, but I'm just saying I would do that on my own. And he would reply to me whenever he could. Um, and then when I got my puppy, um, again, very involved. He let us know how to do the postings. Um, as you guys saw earlier, he has his little ears posted now. Um, you'll also be able to select what kind of cut you want on your puppy and what length you want them. And again, it's all done to your liking and to your happiness. Um, and then that's basically it, guys. Like, um, Jose is a legit breeder. He does everything as supposed to. He makes you feel as comfortable as you need be. Um, another thing I think it's important to point out is if by any circumstances you feel you can no longer you know, hold your place. He's very open about being able to refund your money and he's not going to hold your money. And I think that's very important for a lot of people to know that they're getting into, um, getting a puppy. Um, you know, that he's very, he's very transparent. He's very honest. He's going to, um, be, you know, very, 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 very easy to deal with. Um, and like I said, if you guys are looking for a puppy, I highly recommend Jose. Um, you know, and he's one of those breeders that once he gives you his puppy, it's not like he forgets about you. Um, he still, um, you know, welcomes you to reach out to him for any questions, concerns you might have as a puppy owner. Um, if anything arises with your puppy, he's always very transparent. He, you know, communicates it to you. Or if when you have your puppy, something's worrying you, he's always, um, you know, advocating to reach out to him and ask him any questions and he can answer them. He'll answer them. Um, so yeah, guys, um, again, I'm, I live in San Diego, California. I have one of my quizzes puppies. My puppy is 10 weeks old. Like I said, my experience here was great. I, I tell him all the time, if I do come across anyone that wants a puppy, I will most definitely recommend Jose. Like I said, it was just a good experience. I have no negative feedback um, to what I had earlier with when I almost got scammed. And like I said, um, you know, you don't wanna lose out on your money especially in these times. So it's always good to know that there's a legitimate breeder that is um, gonna do um, what he says he's gonna do and that's provide a puppy. And not only provide a puppy, but he looks for the best um, bloodlines and you know health and everything involved that should be looked into. Um, and he will also include your AKC paperwork, um, shots and everything needs to be done. Basically, he's legit breeder. I have nothing else to say. If you guys have questions, concerns, He's there to help you. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you.